Deirdre, this is the first reaction from the former president now just coming in over email, not over social media. The former president saying what Facebook, Twitter and Google have done is a total disgrace and an embarrassment to our country. Free speech has been taken away from the president of the United States because the radical left lunatics are afraid of the truth. But the truth will come out anyway, bigger and stronger than ever before. The president. While former President Donald Trump may have taken an L on social media this week, he did take a win in one case, and his former attorney, Michael Cohen, is pretty salty about it. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I'm Adrian Lawrence. The Federal Elections Commission announced that it's dropped the case reviewing Trump's hush money payments to women in the days before his 2016 presidential election. Now, that includes the $130,000 payment Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohen, paid to adult film star Stormy Daniels and the $150,000 paid to former Playboy playmate Karen McDougal. Now, if you recall, those payments, among others, were never reported on Trump's campaign filings. They also far exceeded the $2,700 legal limit for individual contributions for a president. According to Cohen, this was intentionally done in violation of campaign finance laws. In fact, Cohen was sentenced to prison for breaking these laws for Trump, in addition to tax evasion and lying to Congress. He also had his home raided, had to surrender his law license, and kind of messed up his life a bit. Like many of us, Cohen had been waiting for Trump to finally face the music, for there to be actual consequences. And that appeared to be a possibility. In December 2020, the FEC's internal report said it had reason to believe that Trump's campaign knowingly and willfully violated campaign finance laws. But the election commission, split evenly between Republicans and Democrats, opted not to proceed with the investigation against Trump. This vote happened back in February, but we just got wind of it this week. In a letter, the Democratic commissioners, they said this. To conclude that a payment made 13 days before Election Day to hush up a suddenly newsworthy 10-year-old story was not campaign-related without so much as conducting an investigation defies reality. The Republican commissioners thought was that, hey, this isn't the best use of agency resources, so they said. Well, what did Cohen think? Well, as you can imagine, New York federal inmate number 86067-054 was none too pleased. Cohen said this to the New York Times. The hush money payment was done at the direction of and for the benefit of Donald J. Trump. Like me, Trump should have been found guilty. How the FEC committee could rule any other way is confounding. What can you say? We've seen nothing but instance after instance where Donald Trump evades accountability. I am not surprised. He gets away with his nonsense because it'd be unprecedented to actually hold a former president accountable for criming. No man is supposed to be above the law, but this isn't a democracy. It's more of an oligarchy with a dash of aristocracy. The ruling class is unwilling to sacrifice one of their own, even if they hate him. Donald Trump is like the Tito Jackson of the elite, but they won't kick him out even if he lacks talent and is always off tune. But you know who knows? There could actually be consequences coming his way by way of New York. The state AG and the Manhattan DA are still probing and possibly pushing to bring charges. Whether the 27, did I say 27? I meant 74-year-old Donald Trump will actually face actual consequences for his criming? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. In the meantime, please follow us here for more, and thanks for watching.